I found a super cool tool that shows you what is trending and what niches you should go into with print on demand. A lot of people have been asking me to make niche related videos and it's very difficult because, well, there's not that many places out there to decide and to realize which niches work best. But this tool, which is free, is so cool. Before I tell you about it and give you a little tutorial, if you are new here and you haven't already subscribed, like, whoa, then my gosh, can you please hit that subscribe button? It would mean the world to me. And not only that, but if you are new here and you have subscribed, let me know in the comments so that I can welcome you to the channel. And yeah. Let's get on with the video. And just before I show you my screen, I just want to give a shout out to Ryan Hoag, who this video, the idea of this video came from him. I've been watching his videos for a while and I did an interview with him actually. And you can click the interview, it's up here, but don't do that now because, you know, keep watching this video. But we did an interview on Etsy and I, this video is inspired from seeing some of his content and I wanted to bring this idea to my audience as well. So without further ado, let's just bang on to the computer. This tool is called the Red Bubble Popular Tags Tool. Now that is a mouthful. It is just a bunch of numbers and links and I'm gonna show it to you, but before I do, I just don't want you to freak out. I'm going to explain what all of it means, okay? Do you promise you won't freak out? Okay, fine. Here, this is what it looks like, okay? It's called the Red Bubble Popular Tags Tool and like I said, it is free. And what you can see here, you can see popularity, popularity delta, results, results delta, and search okay so now let's go through each of these columns and then i will show you how you can use it to find popular niches popular products and just everything it's just such a cool tool and i want to show you exactly how it works so firstly we have the popularity column and this shows which tag is the most popular and you can see here along um, on this last column the search column you can see it's got the the tag at the end hydro stickers is the tag this one's funny mask this one's f1 mask this one's strawberry cow okay so those are the tags and here it shows you the popularity okay so column one it just shows you which tag is the most popular column Two, this shows you, this is the popularity delta or the popularity change over time. And this shows you how much a tag has changed over time. So you can see this one, number four, strawberry cow has gone up 23 places. Okay, that's huge. We can see uh, number seven is an Annie masks has gone down three places. So this is really cool to see what's up and coming, what's changing, what's, you know, what's moving with the times and what's, you know, becoming really, really big. Why does the phone always go during recording? Are you dumb? You good? We good? Can I record? Thanks. Right, moving on. Column number three, this is results. This is the number of times the tag is actually, how many number of products is using this tag, okay? So, for example, Hydro Stickers is going to have 52,311 products using that tag, okay? Because that's, when you search for it in Redbubble, that is the number of products that will show up for that tag, okay? I hope that makes sense. I feel like I explained that badly. Okay, and then column number four is, again, the results delta or the results change over time. So this is really interesting because you can see, well, it's a lot of minuses. Flip it out, that says 401,000. Okay, it's for cute masks. So this basically means that there are, well, 3,217 less products now showing for this tag. Okay, this one says there's 50,000 or 501,103 less products showing for this tag. Okay, so you can see, and you can filter by the way, by number of results, you can filter by popularity, you can filter by, you know, results over time, change, all that kind of stuff. So I like to filter by just popularity because that makes the most sense. Okay, and then, I don't know if you can filter by search. No, you can't filter, oh, I guess you can. Okay, right, then you have the last one, which is the actual search. And you can click this and it should take you directly to, well, this page, right? The actual Red Bull page where the search term is Hydro Flower Stickers. So Hydro Stickers, 53,248 results. Now, I know it's slightly off because I believe it updates every week. Yep, here we go, updates every Monday. Okay, so it updates once a week, so it's not like incredibly accurate to the point, but it's pretty accurate. Right, so you can click it and it will take you, you know, to the Redbubble website with that tag. Why is this cool? Well, there's a few reasons and let's just, let's just, you know, go in and I want to go in as if I haven't seen it before so I can kind of show you a real life example. So we know that 
one of the most popular things now is strawberry cow. Right, so what we would do is we would click into this strawberry cow and have a look. Another thing which is very, very good right now is music stickers. Okay, so let's click music stickers as well. So this is really cool to see that. We can see of these main products, stickers, masks, masks, stickers, masks, masks, stickers, right? These seem to be the most popular products. So for someone who thinks t-shirts are the most popular products, I'm afraid you're wrong because on Redbubble, it's showing that masks and stickers are the most popular products. This is really cool to see. So under Strawberry Cow, this could be a brand. I feel like it's a brand, um, but it might not be. Can you make stuff in the Strawberry Cow niche? Because this is a super trendy niche right now. I think so. And actually, because I just realized this, stickers are the most popular part of, you know, so it's Strawberry Cow and it seems to be stickers are the most popular thing. Why can't we make a strawberry cow t-shirt and stand out a bit? Because there doesn't seem to be that many on the top of the results. Right, next we've got music stickers. This is really easy, that's quite cool. That's a Harry Styles Spotify scan sticker. That's really cool. Um, you've got all of these different music things. These can be created on, on Placeit for, you know, in, in like two minutes. Right, I probably wouldn't do that because that, it's probably copyrighted, but it's cool to see, and I only wanted to run just two simple examples, and it's really cool to see that just by looking at this, if you're wondering what niche shall I go into, well, here's your answer. Try out the music niche. Try out the strawberry cow niche. Try out the anime stickers niche, because you know what? They seem to be quite popular. So let's have a look at anime stickers. Tokyo Ghoul Spotify code. Spotify code seems to be quite a popular thing. That's a really easy thing to get hold of. Right, you can get Spotify codes for everyone, like Ed Sheeran, you know, all of it. You can have it on the, you can have like a T-shirt with Ed Sheeran Spotify code. That is quite cool. I just thought of that idea. Please don't steal it. Right, uh, moving on. As well as just using this tool to see what's already popular, what we could do is, if you have a specific niche in mind, or you already are in a specific niche, let's say you're in the bike niche. What you can do is you can actually go to the search term, search for the word bike, and it will spit out the most in, in in order of popularity you know the most popular products the most popular t-shirts the most popular tags used so let's let's just do that let's run a a, a real world real life world example for the niche bikes so you just have to simply go to the search click search bike right and we can see bike stickers mountain bike stickers bike masks bike bike quote stickers right now these in terms of popularity aren't great i mean this is 2191 and it's going down it seems except for mountain bikes seems to be going up right so you can see with this right if you're in the mountain bike if you're in the biking niche it seems that mountain bikes seem to be the most popular and if we click mountain bike stickers let's have a look but it seems to be that mountain bikes the most popular right so if i was in the in the bike niche i wouldn't try and do road bike stuff because it looks like mountain bikes is more popular now let's say we do dog not god dog right we can see dog stickers dog masks um it seems to be that dog it seems to be that stickers and masks are the most popular but then if we go we've got bungu stray dogs we've got french bulldogs we've got dog plus mum stickers and it's cool to see that popularity wise dog stickers 98 popularity that is pretty cool however there is a huge number of actual products using this tag so let's just quickly go back to mountain stickers. So yeah, we can see mountain biking stickers. Like this is pretty much just a place it image. Like there is zero skill there. Bike just fix it, that's very smart. I don't know how legal it is, but it's very smart. Anyway, so I guess now you want my advice on how to use this tool smartly or efficiently. Well, I would personally use the popularity column alongside the results column to try and find a good uh, you know base because you don't want to try and list a product if it's got hundreds and thousands of products in that same tag however however like popular that product is okay so yes let's let's get rid of this dog search and let's just go back to you know number one right so we can see the number one is hydro stickers hydro stickers i think hydro is the flask right so it's just stickers for your flask um yeah hydro, hydro stickers not necessarily a particular niche it's just hydro is a flask okay so the i think yeah hydro flask stickers right so and this this 
this is what I'm talking about. This is the number one most popular product, but it's only got 52,000 products in that using that tag. So that's actually a really cool product to go into. And looking at the number three, it's only got 4,086 products in it. This is anyone else is anyone else mind just exploding right now? Like, okay, let me just quickly explain what that means. This means the product, th this tag is number three in popularity and there are only 4,086 products using that tag. That means if you list a product using that tag, which is already a very popular tag, you, you, you're you giving yourself such a good chance of getting sales. Are you are you seeing the power? Like, are you seeing, are you, are you seeing how good this is? I'm getting a bit too excited here. I'm gonna calm down a bit, just calm down. Okay, so for example, right, number six, the tag funny. This has 308, sorry, this has 3,085,263, you know, products showing up for this tag. Even though this is number six in popularity, I would never use this tag because my product will just be lost amongst millions of products. So what you want to do is find a good balance of popularity and number of products in that tag. So again, number four, Strawberry Cow has only got 5,864. That is huge, it's amazing. Number 10, 10,000. This has got Avatar The Last Airbender, okay. 14,000, Haiku. I think I said that right, I don't know. But my point is, you, you understand my point, all right? I don't need to keep droning on. This is a free tool. There is no reason why you shouldn't be using it. It's just a brilliant tool. And I'm gonna actually say, if you do use this tool and you start getting sales from it, I think just, just it's a nice thing to do is to actually donate to this person because you can see this is a free tool, but he has here at the top right corner, buy me a coffee and you can actually donate, you know, a couple of dollars, one, two or three, it's three dollars each. And it's just, it's a nice thing to do if you're getting sales using his tool and it's a free tool, why not donate a bit of money to him? Again, I have no affiliation with him, by the way. I've never spoken to Adi Dabu. No idea who he is. Just thought it was a nice thing to do. But all I'll say is you just you just start using it because it's a brilliant, brilliant tool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Again, if you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed, come on, hit that subscribe button. I've got some really, really awesome content coming out to this channel and I cannot wait to share it with all of you. So, thanks for watching. If you did like this video, you will like this video up here, which is just a Redbubble video on how you can get more sales on Redbubble specifically. So definitely go and click that, check it out, and I will see you in the next video.